Hi guys, welcome back. It's Joan. Um, I want to do my fall 2012 nail polish picks for you guys today. What I did, I went into my nail polish collection and I just picked out a bunch of colors that I found were the most um, appropriate for fall and colors that I would want to wear once fall comes around. So if you look at these colors, they all actually kind of look like they're in the same um, shade. They're gray and um, taupey and some greens and they're very dusty colors, what I kind of generalize fall to be like. Um, now I'm going to just go straight into these. Some of these colors um, I'll try to go in the same shade group. So I'll first start off with the grays and the taupey colors. Um, I guess. Okay, so the first polish I'm going to show you guys, I know for a fact that I've shown it before. Um, it's called Chinchilli. And let's see if you can get it. My camera's being really annoying today. So it's called Chinchilli. The color looks like this. It's a taupey, just grayish color. And whenever I wear this polish out, I always get compliments on it always every single time I wear it out um, I don't know what it is about it because to me I like the color but I don't find it very unique or that that you know that beautiful or something but every time I wear this color out I do get compliments on it it's chinchilli from Essie the formula is wonderful and it's really the epitome of a taupe color that I would I would um, probably see on um, you know nails for the fall the next color is from Deborah Lipman and it looks like this and this one is called waking up in Vegas and it is also like a, a gray color and this one is a lot more cool undertones I do love this formula Deborah Lipman has really wonderful nail polishes this polish in one coat I could get it um, pretty opaque opaque sometimes though I do need two coats for some fingers but um, this color I would love for fall as well as winter it can carry over to winter as well so that's another one uh, the next one is from Rimmel this is actually the only Rimmel nail polish I own but I really do like this the formula is wonderful it's um, Rimmel lasting finish pro and it's called steel gray number 270 I believe this was supposed to be a dupe for a Sephora um, polish but um, this one of course is cheaper um, and it could be more accessible for some people I found mine at Target and this is more of a um, it's kind of taupey but has like this mauve color in it as well this one is really beautiful for fall as well and the only thing I, I dislike about this, the formula is wonderful, but I don't like the brush. The brush is really, really flat and really gigantic, actually. It's just really big like that. But other than that, the formula is good, and um, it's, it's something I wore often in uh, fall last year. And I do like this on my toes as well as my fingers. The next one I have, the next two are kind of in the brownish category where I, I think, um, when I think of fall, I think of brown, grays, taupes, mauves, like dusty greens and whatnot. And this is definitely something that would fall into that brown category. category. I have two. The first one's from Essie, of course, and this one is called Mochaccino. And it looks like that. Now, um, on the camera, it probably will not be able to pick it up, but it's uh, it has like these iridescent shimmers inside. Now, once applied, you can't really see those shimmers all too well, but um, it's just a really slight sheen, which was a little disappointing, but the color itself, just from the base color, is really great. It's a brownish kind of taupey gray, like all just kind of mixed up into one. But it does lean most uh, more towards like a browner color than it does as a gray. So that one's really nice. The next color I have is a matte color. Now Sally, I believe this is this was a limited edition color, so I don't think it's available anymore. Or 
Um, I'm not sure, but I don't think they have it available. But this is called St um, Style Clan. And I don't even exactly remember the name of the collection, but I think it was like the, the Tartan Tales or something. It was like a Scottish theme. I just remember that. But um, this was released then, and it's like a brown brown color and has like these copper colored glitter inside which don't really show up too well once applied but it is a beautiful color um there's a lot of similar dupes to this um the the dupes might not have a copper glitter in it but the brown you could definitely find a dupe for so this is probably not available but it if you guys own this i really think it's um fall appropriate now the next one, um, next two I have for you guys are in the green family. Now the first one I have is a Chanel polish, and this is Chanel's Black Pearl. Um, and it's number 513. For those of you guys who follow Chanel makeup, you'll know exactly um, which collection Black Pearl came out with. It was when it was released, it was really highly anticipated, and it's a beautiful color. I love this for fall, but I also love it for winter. Um, it has, it really truly looks like a black pearl to me. It kind of like changes in the light, the way that it's, um, it flashes and it reflects light. So black pearl is definitely a must for me for fall and winter. And the next color in the green family I have is from Essie, and it's called So Psyched. SCW site. I will have the name for all of these polishes in um, the info box below if you guys do miss it. But this is what the color looks like. And this, um, in the bottle, it looks like it could be slightly iridescent, but it's not at all. But it's a really beautiful color. Um, I don't recommend wearing this one on your toes, though. It doesn't really look that good because it's like a light a little darker almost I can't say forest green color but it's really dark um, compared to most of the neutral um, pale pastel colors um, that green colors that SC releases but um, so it looks great on the nails but it doesn't look so great on the toes so that's so psyched and the last two that I have for you guys are in the more pinkish um, mauve color I guess. The first one I want to show you is from Essie also and I absolutely love this polish. This is a wonderful polish. It's like the perfect dusty pink that you want for fall. It looks like that and this is called Ladylike. I believe this was released in the Essie fall collection from last year so fall 2012. I have these on my toes right now and it looks stunning. I have always worn this on my nails but for the first time I wore it on my toes, um, put it on my toes yesterday, and I really love it. Um, it's Ladylike, once again, from Essie. This one doesn't have any shimmers. It's just a really dusty pink that I absolutely adore. The last color that I have for you guys is from Butter London. And I actually just received this, and this is the color that I do have on my nails right now. And this is from Butter London. It's called Tea with the Queen and um, it's it's not a color that I I thought that it would be when I um, when I put this on I thought it was gonna be a very nude um, neutral nude with no um, I don't know maybe like a slight pink undertone but it kind of turned out to be more of a like a mixture of a pink with slightly orange yellow I don't even know how to describe it really, but it's just, I mean, what you see on the screen right now is exactly what it looks like um, in in person. And it has like a, it's like nude, but it has like an orange-yellow mixture to it. It kind of just reminds me of like, I don't know, it reminds me of autumn leaves when the leaves start changing colors. And um, it's a sheer formula, but I got it to be completely opaque in three coats. Yeah, so this is um, Tea with the Queen. And this is the only polish that I did not purchase. Everything else I showed you guys I did purchase with my own money. But this one was sent for me to review. 
and I will have a review, like a separate review for this up very soon. But I did want to include it in my fall 2011 I and mean 2012 nail picks just because I really, when I was looking at my nails, it really looked like fall. Um, I'm wearing it right now where it's still summer and the weather is still summer and it's extremely hot. And it didn't really seem fitting on my nails. I didn't feel like it was really matching my mood or the atmosphere, I guess. But um, once fall comes around, I know I'll be wearing this on my nails. So that was the last one. And those were all the nine polishes that I wanted to show you guys for my fall 2012 um, nail picks. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's to be glam, the same as my username here on YouTube. And um, I do post a lot of pictures of my nails, my current nail polish that I'm using on Instagram. So if you guys are interested in nails and manicures, then please follow me there. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.